This video will describe how to create a channel plan using the Viewpoint Express software for the 360 DSP signal level meter. When creating a channel plan, the first thing I need to do is define what types of channels I have in that channel plan. So I want to go to the channel presets link and Viewpoint Express comes with a couple uh, defaults Digital Video 256, 256 Quam and XB, Doxus 256 which is the same thing only it lets the meter know that uh, it could be a downstream and then NTSC for my analogs. So let's say I've got something other than these three in my channel plan I can create a new channel preset name it something I'm gonna name this one pilot I define the type notice if I select analog I have the different standards for analog channels if I select digital I have the different annexes different modulation types bandwidth symbol rate in this case I'm just going to create a, a simple pilot carrier save that it will tell you if it's successfully saved up the top and then if I hit my channel presets link you'll see that now I have four here so I've successfully defined all possible channels in my channel plan now I can go to the channel plan link and actually build the plan. Viewpoint Express comes with an NCTA base channel plan. If you want to use that, you can. You can create a new channel plan and just build it channel by channel. It's usually easier to start with a template or start with an existing channel plan. I'm going to select a channel plan I already have in here. Make a copy of it rename it let's say this is office C now and then I can make any changes I need to in this channel plan let's say these channels here are digital rather than analog this is similar to Excel if I hold the control key down it will select multiple ones if I hold the shift key down selects all at one time so I can select multiple channels at once and change the channel type you'll notice the frequency changes also the channel number stays the same as I scroll down I can do this for my entire channel plan enable or disable any channels let's say in office C I don't have this particular channel for my entire channel plan if say I don't have channel 97 98 I can just delete it this line over here will delete it let's say I'm happy with this this is what I want click Save I'll have a notification channel plan office C has been saved If I go back to my channel plan link now I have that listed as one of my channel plans I need to do this for every channel plan I need to put in my meters in future videos we'll go over creating limit sets test locations uh, configuration packages and teach you how to get these channel plans into the meter.